Greetings and salutations, and another episode of Star Trek having been watched. Um, and this episode is episode three, where no man has gone before. Um, in the episode, um, after the Enterprise attempts to cross the Great Barrier at the edge of the galaxy, two crew members develop powerful ESP uh, powers that threaten the safety of the crew. I don't know what, um, bas basically they can, basically they get godlike powers, so this is what I got from it. Um, so basically a little bit of details about the episode is that, um, this was gonna be the, this was the second pilot produced in 1965 after the first pilot, The Cage, was rejected by NBC. Um, this is the first produced episode of Star Trek to feature William Shatner as Captain James Kirk, James Duhon as Chief Engineer Montgomery Scott, and as George Sakai as Lieutenant Sulu. So then, so the, also the cast includes uh, Gary Lockwood as Lieutenant Commander Gary Mitchell, and Sally Kellerman as Dr. Elizabeth Daner and and Andrew Lloyd Haynes as Alden Aiden Alden Adrian Drum as Yeoman Smith. So in the episode of uh, the Enterprise goes through like a energy like a Great Barrier, um, and then suddenly two uh, crew members get powers. Like in this case, um, Doctor. Well, spoilers on all this. If you have not watched the episode, uh, Gary Mitchell gets basically like, powers and all that, and so does Doctor Elizabeth Daner. And Doctor Daner doesn't really show it off, but Gary, he's saying like, say, "Holy cow! Look at all this! Look at what I can do!" Like, there's a moment where he's just, like, where he's just showing off, like, say, I can read all, an uh, entire book in, like, less than a minute. Um, some of the characters get, start to get nervous around him because, you know, he can also read thoughts. And, uh, and also, like, uh, Kirk and... Mitchell, they're a bit of friends in this episode, but then again, I feel like when you're part of the Enterprise, you're going to be friends with a lot of the crew, in a way. At a certain point, basically, the uh, Mitchell gets so crazy that um, he starts shooting his powers and all that, saying, I am a god! And this episode must have got uh, Kurt... Um, I think, um, uh, William Shatner must have appealed to him because, mostly just because it felt like, most, I guess it must have appealed to him, the idea of, of the character being, having godlike powers. And also because that episode does kind of have a, like from the 1960s, this does have a bit of a scary idea of like a, Man who can like, re look for your mind, uh, use certain powers to bend you to his whim and all that. So yeah, man. Uh, heck, the even there, the I think one of the like, the best moments of the episode is when Mitchell and Doctor Dana are fighting. Um. Kirk is the one who said just yes, like say hey we need to drop this guy off a planet and just leave him there and like I, I kind of felt I feel you kind of in a way feel bad not not really feel bad for Mitchell but at the same time you just realize like sometimes power can corrupt and 
in a way that's what happens to him. So, yeah. I thought this episode was pretty good. And the episode ends with Kirk saying, Hey, Spock, can you make, can you make sure we, um, you, well, kind of like, you know, not make sure this guy was a total menace in his, his memory? Like, he, he, like, Kirk uh, uses a plasma, like, a rifle to shoot at him. He almost, he almost throws a rock at, he throws a rock at him, which was, <laughs> and I still gotta say, although this, this show beg- at this, was beginning at this point, you can still see, like, say, the painted backdrop switches, and also the, um, forced perspective and all that stuff, so, and the painted, um, foregrounds and all that so this episode's got its charm it's got its fun little flashy special effects where the characters are using electricity to attack check each other and yeah I think this episode's pretty good but overall uh, what did you think of episode 4 uh, episode 3 where no man has gone for do you like it do you not like it do you think it's, is there an episode that you think is better than this one? Put your thoughts in the comments down below. Let me know. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.